I had been, let's see, I guess I was 22, 23, um, and I'd been playing with Melissa Manchester, mm -hmm. who at that time was kind of this Greenwich Village folk. Great, mm -hmm. great songwriter, and um, we were traveling around the country in a station wagon, you know, and I was in New York, and I... I think there was a Rolling Stone article. The Rolling Stone article was that Elton had decided to break up his band. And That's he was right. quoted yeah. in Rolling Stone. I was sitting there, you know, I was making like $125 a week. And I was sitting there reading Rolling Stone, and it said there was, there was a part where it started, talked about how Elton wanted to add a keyboard player. And I was thinking, wow, yeah, that, what a gig that would be. I threw it away. Six months later, my phone rang. And it's my manager at the time saying, uh, uh, wow, would you be interested in uh, uh, auditioning for Elton John's band? And I said, yeah. Uh, you know, he was the biggest art artist in the world. Mm -hmm. And so I flew back, somehow got back to L.A. And I mean, I was really dirt poor. And I drove up and, they, and I got there and they said, OK, go to the Hamburger Hamlet on Doheny and Sunset. And uh, look for a purple Rolls Royce, which I did. And I got, I went up there, and sure enough, there's a purple Rolls Royce pulled up in front of it. And the guy gets out, the bearded guy gets out, comes over, and says, "Follow me." So I followed him up into the Jesus. hills. Crazy. We're going up into all these crazy mansions, you know. And I'm just like, we're driving this really beat up, <laughs> you know. Uh, we get to this place up on Gilcrest, I think was the name of the street, and we walk into this huge, looked like the Beverly Hillbillies. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. It was just this big place. And they bring me in the living room, and I'm just sitting there like this. And uh, in walks Elton, who had to be, I guess, 25, 26, and mm -hmm. he'd just been, he was in his tennis clothes, he'd mm -hmm. just been playing tennis. And um, I noticed on the coffee table, I had done this really obtuse, kind of obscure solo album. Sold about four copies, mm -hmm. and he had three of them. Mm -hmm. and they were and they were sitting on the on the coffee on the coffee table there, and he was very shy, and I was very shy. And we barely even spoke a word. Um, and he played me the Captain Fantastic album because it hadn't come out yet. And um, after it was over, this this pregnant pause, we're both kind of just sitting there, and he and he said, "I'll never forget it. I'll never forget the words." He said, "Well, you've got the gig if you want it." And I went, "Yeah, okay, great." He said, uh, we're, gonna, we're, uh, we're leaving for Amsterdam in four days. We're going to rehearse for two weeks, and then we have a concert at Wembley Stadium in front of 80,000 people. The Eagles and the Beach Boys opening for us. And, uh, so I said, oh, okay. And he said, here's a so set list. And he wrote out 35 songs, mm -hmm. which I had to learn in three days, which I did. Mm -hmm. um, and I walked out, and on my way out... Uh, one of somebody in his management company says, "Okay, you're going to be paid such and such," which was like fifty-five thousand times what mm -hmm. I was in. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I said, "Okay," and I went outside and I just screamed <laughs> hard. Out. Mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. I got in my car, drove home, and you know, stayed up for four days mm -hmm. learning, learning the songs. Mm -hmm. And then uh, four days later, I was on a plane, uh, Lufthansa flight, in first class with Elton going to Amsterdam. And that was it. Um, That's crazy. But I remember the whole week le leading up to it. You know, I was so, uh, I was so afraid that it wasn't real. I kept, mm -hmm. I kept calling Lufthansa airline, and just to see if my name was. Mm -hmm. If they had a reservation for my name, of course they didn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh man. So right up to the bitter end, I was like, thought the whole thing was just a <laughs> fantasy. It wasn't gonna happen.